Welcome again to another of Everybody Trike's product profile. This time we're doing the Trident, our semi-recumbent Trident. This is our most popular uh, bike that we supply through NDIS, to NDIS participants. Uh, it's obviously quite a long bike. Um, it has a long wheelbase and has a very comfortable backrest mesh sort of uh, backrest and, and the seat here. So people just find it a really comfortable easy sort of they, they feel secure on the bike they're well supported and as we'll demonstrate later when we look at some of the different types of trikes uh, this is a very easy bike to ride um, you know again in the slopes and and, and along the road and wherever uh, this bike is really good in terms of its um, adjustability so it has a series of holes under here um, you'll see there's these major holes along here four major holes and then has the four minor holes on the seat bracket so the advantage of that is that you can adjust the seat in like 20 millimeter increments and you can move it right from here all the way back to here so this will accommodate someone up to about six foot four right down to you know someone reasonably short we also can adjust the um, the tilt of the seat as well so these holes here we can adjust the pin position to adjust the the angle of the seat uh, the backrest angle for people who want to sit forward a bit or you know want to be a bit more laid back in their riding so very um you know very comfortable and easy to use uh, the only sort of ex uh, i guess modification we do to the seat on these is we can put a waist strap on some people just like to feel a bit more secure with the waist strap on the bike again battery mounted in the back here locked into position here with the key uh, with this one we can slide the battery out the charging port is under here it's a little bit tricky under the handle a bit easier to slide the battery out to charge it and then you can just slide the battery back in and then just lock it into place um, this battery comes in in different sizes different capacities which is basically the the, the range or the, the distance that you can travel on one charge uh, so we have two different versions of this battery for some people like to if they're going to be doing bigger rides then uh, we can put a bigger battery in for them this you know this sort of bike you could take on a rail trail and things like that so you may want to do fairly reasonable distances on it so some of this bike uh, that uh, again electric bike uh, this one has a motor in the front wheel uh, our front wheel drive it does come in different motor options and we'll have another session later about uh, motors in particular but we can do a, a motor what's called a, a mid-drive motor which goes in the cranks here the advantage of that is it it is then driving the chain and drives through the back wheel so for people who maybe are going on the rail trail or, or particularly steep hills and things we tend to look at the mid-drive version because you have the weight over the back wheels and it's better for traction whereas the front wheel can start to spin so getting onto the bike is reasonably easy some people like to sit on the seat like this and then they can lift their leg over and put it onto the pedals other people can either step over and then sit down onto the bike like this. Again, different sorts of pedals that we have. This one happens to have what we call moon boot pedals on it, uh, which are very good for people, easy to get in, put your foot into, uh, and they support your heel because on this sort of a bike, if you just have a standard pedal, your foot can tend to fall off the pedal. So having some heel support just helps to, uh, to hold your foot on. So you can see it's a very comfortable uh, you know, position. You, you're sitting down nice and low and you don't feel like you're too unstable and wobbling around. Again, same sort of display that we've, we've talked about previously. Don't have any power turned on at the moment. Um, so it has all the same features of the display where we can Hold in the minus button and the bike will start off and just go along by itself. Turning circle is very good if, if you can just hold on to one handlebar like that. Uh, some people with one-sided weakness struggle a little bit more because obviously they can't hang on to, to the handlebar and this would make it difficult for them to turn sharply. Um, 
but otherwise it, uh, it's a really stable, easy bike to use. Uh, at the moment I've just got a very low level of power on. On these bikes we fit um, hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear, so we've got one hydraulic disc brake on the front and we've got twin hydraulic disc brakes on the rear. The advantage of the hydraulic disc brake is it's very easy to use, so you get, for not very much hand, hand force, you get a lot of braking force. So really good for people who've got, uh, you know, weak hands or limited hand strength. Uh, and, you know, they can, doesn't really matter with a trike, it doesn't matter which brake you use, whether it's the front or the back really. But with the back brakes, you get the twin braking. So if someone's got, uh, normally the, back, the, the rear brake would go on the left hand side, but let's say someone had a stronger right hand, we would just mount the, the rear brake uh, and mount it on the right hand side so that when they operate the, uh, the brake lever, they're getting both uh, rear brakes operating. All of our brakes also have a handbrake feature or like a park brake feature. So when I pull this in and I push that button in for this one, then what that does is it puts the brakes on, on the trike so that as I'm getting on and off, the trike's not moving. So we do that on all of the trikes, different types of park brakes, but we do that on all of them to just make it easier for the, so the trike's not gonna roll away on you while you're trying to get on and off the bike. To release the brake, you just hold the lever. So this one has an automatic spring release. Some of them you have a little, we'll show you on the other one we can do, uh, it has a little uh, lever that you have to push out with your finger. This one has a seven speed mechanical gears, just like a standard uh, push bike. So you can change mechanical gears while you're riding along as well. One's the easiest gear going up your hills sort of stuff and then right up to seven for going along the flat when you want to ride a bit quicker. Uh, in terms of accessories on the bike, we can, we, we install a rail on the back here uh, if you're familiar with the uh, bike panniers that go on the rear racks of bikes, they have little two little clips and they usually clip onto the bike, uh, to, the, to the rack. So we can do the same on this. We can um, clip a, uh, a pannier, a bag on here, which then sits down here. We also have the option to mount a crate on the back, back here if you want to, you know, take something a bit bigger with you. So we can do, we, we do quite often put a walking stick holder on here or a crutch holder. For people who need that, they can mount the thing on so that when they get off the bike, they can get their crutch and still keep walking around. Again, quite a large trike, so transport is obviously a, a bit of an issue. With this type of trike, you do have the option. Some people can, if they're not, say, say if they have a SUV or something like that, and they don't have anybody in the back seats, you can put the back seats down, you can roll the bike in. You can actually take, uh, by removing that pin under here and these two clips here, you can take the seat off and you can just lower the, the handlebars down. So you can slide the bike, roll the bike into the back of an SUV and you can put the front wheel right up in between the two front seats. So that allows you to get the bike into the car if you don't have anybody in the back seat. The other way to do it is we supply a trike rack and we'll do another session on trike rack, on racks. But yeah, you can have a trike rack that goes on the back of the car, normally into one of your square hitches. And you can then, the way the trike rack works is it has three, or well, it has a, a single channel running through the, the middle of the rack and a ramp. So you can actually drive the, the trike up the ramp onto the rack, and then you have the two, and you just secure the rack, uh, the bike onto the rack like that. We also have a rack now that has an extra channel for a, a two-wheel bike as well so for a couple that you know one person needs a trike and the other one's still riding a two-wheel bike you can mount uh, the trike and the two-wheel bike uh, on the same rack so typically this bike is very good for people who don't have a lot of core strength uh, so they can't sit on what's called an upright trike uh, without you know and hold their balance uh, they, people who have a one-sided weakness as well, then this sort of bike is very easy to ride because you can almost ride it with one hand, although, you know, the steering is a bit of an issue, but, uh, very good for, yeah, people with, uh, it may have prosthetics, prosthetic legs, um, 
as I said, um, balance issues and low core strength. And then just, uh, yeah, and also those people that are quite anxious and don't feel comfortable up when we, when we, when I'll show you later, we'll be riding around on different types of trikes. And you'll see that riding on an upright trike, where you're quite a bit higher off the ground, can feel quite uh, unnerving. And some people just can't handle that feeling of being able to control the trike, where this trike being lower down and a bit longer is much, much easier to control. So it, it is our most popular trike because people do feel just so much more comfortable once they've compared the two trikes beside each other they find this bike really handles very well for them. So it handles a whole range of different types of, of I guess, functional capacity. Now we're gonna try riding around the park, same sort of area, same area on our semi-recumbent Trident. So as you can see, lower to the ground, feet out in front of me and supported, uh, my back's are supported. So on this bike, you don't really have to think as much you because you're not as high off the ground you don't feel the slope uh, the side slope as much in your in your head sort of thing so your body's not trying to compensate uh, and thinking it's going to have to lean so on this bike it's very easy you can just sit on the bike you basically it's almost like a little go-kart uh, you don't have to worry about the lean I mean obviously <clears throat> you don't want to be going across too uh, you know too steep a slope and, and you can still tip the the trike if um, if you're not careful but it's very much easier there's not as much thinking involved and it's much more forgiving when you're riding uh, on bumps and, and on the slope and whatever else uh, without having to worry about it and relearn you don't have to think oh, I've got to relearn how I ride a bike you just basically point it in the direction you want to go keep pedaling I'm just going to go up this little slope here so we can go up here and again straight down the slope whenever you're going down hills you should always try and go straight down a slope like a driveway things like that curbs always try and go straight down wherever possible with both wheels going over both back wheels going over the curb together don't try and cut the curb and go over at an angle because that's when you can get the bike so there's a little pothole here i'm going to go into and you'll see how the bike sort of you know does a little bit of a, a glitch but this bike is much more forgiving than a standard upright trike uh, would be and down here i can turn on the slope here and I don't really feel like the bikes, you know, I don't feel uncomfortable when I'm turning on a slope like that.